Welcome to another installment of TPM's 4-Minute Fridays. My name is Bruce Harris. I'm a senior application engineer here at TPM. And today's topics are going to be tips and tricks for using the tag all command in Revit. So let's just jump right over to Revit and get started. So now we're in Revit. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use these lights as an example of tagging all. Now notice the lights on the left already have a tag on them and the lights on the right two rooms do not. So what I'm going to do is put a selection window around the lights in this center room and go to annotate and click on tag all. Now tag all will do one of two things. Right here you'll notice only selected objects in current view. If you have objects selected when you go into the tag all command, it assumes that you only want to tag the objects you have selected. Now you could go up to all objects and it would tag all, but it assumes you only want to select those. So let's click on the tag that we want to use, which is this lighting fixture tag, and go OK. And it's tagged only the objects that were selected. Now if no objects are selected and we go into tag all, then every single light in this case in the entire view is tagged. Now what happens if there are already tags? Let's undo that last one. Do it again, tag all. This time I'm going to change the type of tag so there will be a, a visual difference. And notice these came in with a box and a circuit number because I picked a different type of tag. But it did not affect these. So I'm going to go back and tag them the way I tagged it the first time. So let's review what we've learned so far about these tags. If objects are selected and we go into tag all, it will only tag the objects that are selected. If no objects are selected and we go into tag all, it will, take, it will tag all of that type of object in the view. Now it will not duplicate tags. So that brings us to a situation where we want multiple tags for the same group of objects. Now before I do that, I'm going to real quickly show you another little trick that if you don't know is really useful. I don't like the position of these tags. By default, it puts it in the centroid of the object. So I'm going to select one of them and go select all instances visible in view and move all of my tags to a new location not in the center. And I did that. As a matter of fact, if I zoom out, you'll see it did it for all of them all throughout this whole view. Now it also did it for these sconces. And these sconces didn't work out as good as all of the, the same 2x4. So I could you know, just select those individually and move those to a new location. Now that I've got them where I want, what I'd like is another tag on there. Now as we've already experienced, tag all will not allow me to, to tag an object, the same object, with multiple tags, even if the tag is a different tag. So I need a way to get around that. So this is a creative way of getting around it. I'm going to duplicate the view that I'm in. Then I'm going to go to Tag All and choose a different tag. This time I'm going to choose my Circuit Tag and place all of them out there. I'm going to use that same little trick to reposition them that I just used before. So select all instances visible in view and then I'm going to slide them up here somewhere. And now that they're all selected, I'm going to go over here and copy them to my clipboard. Come back into my original view. And I'm going to paste them 
aligned to the same place. So wherever they were in the other one, they're going to be in this one. So now we have all of those tags. Now, just like with the um, with the sconce before, the sconce tags are in a location that I'm not happy with, so I may have to edit them independently and, and move them. But the vast majority of tags I already have exactly laid out the way I want. And that beats the heck out of going, ha going through and having to tag each one of those individually with my second tag. Now the tag truly is tied to the light. So there's, there's no, it's not like we're copying a piece of text. So if I delete that light, notice that both tags go away. So it is truly tagged to that light, even though we did it in a different view. Now, that other view that we created, I really don't need it for anything else. I just needed it as an intermediary step to allow me to put in dual tags. So now I'm just going to delete that view. And now we have the lights tagged the way we want them with two different tags so we can independently move them around when they're in a busy location or a location where the, the tag is not very readable. So that concludes today's tips and tricks for the tag all command. This has been another presentation in the series of 4-Minute Fridays from TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I want to thank you for joining us and invite you to come back and watch again. Thank you.